What's up guys, it's Full Snack Developer here and today we're getting into part 3 of Intro to Web Development. So today we're going to be talking about navigation. Uh, in the previous tutorial we talked about basic HTML. We're going to be still covering over that, we're going to be learning that along the way. Um, but uh, So let's get right into navigation. So in the last tutorial we just touched on it right at the end um, with, the, uh, with the anchor tag here. Um, so just to uh, recap, um, we've got this, um, this anchor tag, uh, we have an attribute called href, which stands for hypertext reference, uh, and inside of it a URL um, that's going to direct us once we click on, uh, on the text in between here. Um, so if we go over, to our, um, go over to our website and we click on the Google here, it's going to take us to the Google page, which is um, our... Uh, our link here. So that's essentially what our navigation is going to be doing, but instead of having it go to an external source, we're going to keep it within our website uh, our website directory. So we don't need this button. Uh, we're going to be doing some switching up here. Um, but before we get started, um, I'm just going to quickly uh, throw this um, throw this index uh, index page here into a new folder here. We're going to call this uh, my first website oh one site one what website there we go okay so we're gonna throw that in here um, as well as uh, uh, if we watched in the first uh, first tutorial uh, are setting up our dev environment um, we're gonna just put it into our HTTP folder here um, so if we pop that open here you can see now we've got our um, um, on my first website and inside that index.html so um, perfect what we're going to do now, though, is we're going to get right into the navigation part of things um, where we've uh, gotten rid of that button. I'm going to introduce you to some new HTML5 tags. Um, and the first one I'm going to talk about is the header. Um, so uh, you can actually just use regular divs and, and name them. We'll get into that later. Um, but for now, I want to be using um, HTML5 tags because they are accepted everywhere and they're the new standard. And it just makes it a lot easier to, you know, like read and understand uh, the different sections of your website. Um, so we got that the header tag. Um, and then we're going to create the nav element, which is, stands for navigation, obviously. Um, inside here, we're going to put an unordered list. That's what the UL stands for. And then inside of the unordered list, we're going to create a list item. In that list item, we're going to create a anchor um, anchor tag. So um, automatically, we get faced with this uh, href, hypertext reference. And for now, I'm just going to put um, a hashtag. Uh, and then I'm going to write home because that's going to be our first link. Um, and then I'm going to just uh, delete uh, delete this section here, and I'm just going to put um, an H1 um, tag here, header, and I'm just going to say home because it's in our index page. So we're going to save that. Um, oh, I see it's still saving to the home page here, so we'll move that to trash. And actually, um, Command Shift save this to into our file there. So save that. Yes, replace. There we go. Okay, so we're saving to the right spot. Um, now, also, we're going to have to um, just quickly double click on this one now and get rid of that. There we go. Okay. So now you can see here, this is now reflecting our, uh, our new code that we have. We click on this new anchor, uh, anchor tag that we put in. And you can see there, it just appends on a hashtag to our full URL. So it doesn't really go anywhere because hashtag isn't anywhere to go to. Um, so we're gonna wanna be able to um, play around um, and bounce between different pages. So we're gonna obviously have to create some pages. So I'm gonna go file new. I'm going to uh, just command all, I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste. And then rather than home here, um, we wanna tell the difference, we're gonna put about. So when we save this here, we're gonna save it into our my first website. And then we're gonna type about. Uh, about.html, perfect. Um, so now we've got uh, essentially two different pages uh, that we can now uh, link between. So I'm going to go back to the index. Um, and in our navigation and in our list here, I'm just going to duplicate our link here. Um, but rather than about, uh, our uh, home, I'm going to say about. And rather than hashtag, we're going to want to put 
um, a reference to um, our about page. Um, but now, if I put just a, um, a slash, um, what this is going to do basically is because we're, um, we're working just um, on our computer here, um, our local computer, uh, it's going to automatically view that slash um, because we're working in files. It's going to go all the way back up to your, you know, your uh, uh, your hard drive's very beginning, um, all the way to the top. Um, so probably, you know, if it's your own computer, it has your your username. We don't want that. We don't want to write a path, you know, say like Nicholas's computer, you know, my name slash, you know, user slash desktop slash, you know, we don't want to write that whole thing out. So what we can do is actually. Uh, we go dot slash, um, and what this is going to do is basically um, wherever this file is, it's going to look in the uh, parent directory. So it's going to serve up, um, you know, in this case, it's we were, we're an HTTP, uh, my first website. This is the file that it's in, so it's going to serve up, uh, show these files here, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we're going to save this. We come back over here. We're going to refresh. And now when we click on about, we have it go to dot slash. And what it does is it shows the directory of this, of the, of the parent folder. So um, again, that's not, not exactly what we want. We don't want to show this ugliness here. We don't want to be referencing a, just a folder um, in our, in our link here. So what we're going to do is you can see there though, that we have these two files that we can, we can reference. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to just say about that HTML. So now when we click on this, it's going to go to the parent directory of this file, look for this file, and then serve that file up. So we're going to come over here, refresh, and now when we click on about, you can see now that we have navigated to the about page. Um, and also we didn't, um, we didn't add a new link to the navigation in the about page. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm just going to copy this, go over to the about page. I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to save it. So now we return. And there you go. So if you click on the same file, it saves, uh, serves up the exact same file. Um, and now we're actually starting to see some navigation going on. But now we want to be able to get back home. So again, in here, we go dot slash. Um, and then we type in index.html. Um, and again, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to save, go back to the index file, and just paste it over the top. Save. Uh, and now refresh. And now when I click home, we go to the index.html. When we click the about, we go to the about page. So now we have the basics that we have the basic navigation working for a website. We can do the exact same thing um, by duplicating this uh, and creating other um, other pages to our site. So if we go, um, let's just copy all of this. Let's create a new new file. I'm going to paste. Um, and then I'm going to change from home. I'm going to say, let's just say contact, um, and save this in the, uh, in the same place. All of our other files are contact HTML. I'm going to save it. Uh, I'm going to add a new link to our navigation. I'm going to change it to contact, con oh. uh, contact, I'm going to save that. Um, and then I'm going to just gonna copy this and throw it into our navigation on all of our pages. There we go. Going to pack here, go back here, refresh. And now when we click on contact, you can see we can do this for all of our pages that we want to do. So now we have the basics of our navigation working for our website. So yay. Um, I'm going to throw in, um, uh, just a little, uh, a little note about, uh, the, the, uh, the anchor tag. Um, we have one attribute here uh, called the um, uh, the uh, hypertext reference href. Um, what we can do is okay. I'm going to go to the index page here. Um, there's uh, there's all kinds of attributes that you can add to um, all kinds of tags, uh, but one for the anchor tag is called target. Um, now, basically, um, what you're noticing before is um, when we clicked on a, a link. Uh, over here, it was changing. Uh, it was changing the page uh, within this tab. It's um, it's just redirecting, redirecting <laughs> within this page. Um, but what Target can do now is we can go um, now that we've added it, we can go underscore blank. And so what happens now is when I save this, I go into 
um, go into our index page here. I'm going to refresh. Um, and now, what did, we, what did we put that? We put that on the, the index page. If I click on the, the home button here where we just added that uh, target, um, you know, target underscore blank, when I click on it, it opens up that link, the same link, but it opens it up in a new tab. So that's just a little note, um, especially if you're, um, you know, say you put, um, uh, you know, a link uh, to, uh, you know, an, an off, um, an off reference. So like um, a link that goes to an external source. So like, like we said before, say, say this was Google, uh, um, say this was uh, Google, uh, dot com. We'll put Google here, um, and we didn't want to navigate away from our website. Um, now, when we click on it, so we can click on Google. It'll open it up in a new tab. It'll redirect to that tab, but it'll still leave us on our web page. So that's just a uh, quick little um, tidbit about um, the target attribute and the anchor uh, anchor attribute attribute. I'm going to switch this back to our index file so that our navigation is working properly before. Oh yeah, I'm going to also want to take off the target. So if you don't have a target on it, it's just going to redirect the tab that you're on to the desired page. That's what we're going to want uh, in our website. So that has been navigation. Um, in, the, uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to start getting into CSS, linking our CSS in, and, uh, and starting to make this look like a, uh, like a decent website. So thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.